Hello and good morning. I am so excited about today. It's September 4th and it's a very magical day um, for all women and also for all of the feminine nature. Today is known as Changing Woman and Changing Woman comes closest to being the personification of the earth and of the natural order of the universe. And we have to think about how we just had our harvest moon. And this harvest moon is where everybody comes to a peak. And that peak is going to be a representation of the very things that we've been focusing on. Well, the actual peak for females and the feminine energy of the universe happens today. And that's why it's known as changing woman. So today we are all open to something that is creative and magical. We are hitting our peak. And so is all of nature and all of the feminine energy that is within everything. Today represents the cycle path of the seasons the birth in spring, the maturing of summer, the growing old of fall and the dying winter, all to be reborn again in the next year. So the birth of the changing woman was first planned by the first man and first woman. First man repeatedly held up his medicine bundle towards this, the universe at dawn. And somehow from this action, changing woman was born and found laying on top of the universe. She was found by talking God who was sent to investigate. First man then presented her saying that you could see that this is the child of the young man and the young woman of exceeding beauty who themselves have arisen from the same medicine bundle to become the inner form of the earth. First man raises and teaching teaches changing woman. She grew from infancy to puberty in four days. This acquiring the name changing woman. So our first experience when we hit our peak is when women experience their first menstruation cycle. And this was an occasion. Um, it was known as the first puberty ceremony and the holy people were called for and talking God would officiate the ceremony. So changing women were dressed in jewels. Um, they would wear white shells, turquoise, abalone, jet. And they also blessed uh, with, they also blessed pollen from the dawn and twilight. And with pollen, uh, many jewels and soft fabric symbolized uh, her control and her blessings and her protection over all of these items. After this blessing, her hair was bathed in dews, and she was instructed to run toward the dawn as far as she could see and then return. As she ran, her dress of jewels jingled, and she separated, uh, she repeated this for four nights. On these days, uh, when she was doing this for her four nights, she was not involved with ceremonies. Uh, she had to occupy herself with planning for the future of the earth. And by the end of the ceremony, she had made millstones, a broom, pots, and stirring sticks. So the songs that were sung on this day traditionally for changing women as she ran, are sung today for young women at their puberty. And ceremonies are taking place today. At Changing Women's, the next menstruation 
that comes our way. Another puberty ceremony was held, similar to the first, but at this ceremony, other procedures for the future were defined. This was that no menstruating woman shall be present at any ceremony. And many people have heard of the red tents. I want a red TV because of this. We are at our peak when we're menstruating. And a lot of people find uh, women to be too powerful or they're worried about um, the anger or triggering something that could be negative. So there was an order of songs that were sung traditionally that represent the blessings of the future. And when this was taking place, um, women really focused on their psychic sights or their psychic abilities. So be aware of what psychic ability is in play. And even though this was created and talked about as a day of celebrating puberty, you have to remember that we all have a feminine energy. And so this is also an ancient day where that female aspect of life and into uh, the whole world is at its peak. So it's powerful for us. And this is the day our path changes so that we can now start another cycle. So in the old days, after the ceremony, the changing woman, they would go outside and walk on a trail. And this trail usually was prepared for her. But I like to make sure that I go for a walk outside in the trees. One day at noon, a strange man walked up to her and spoke to her. He said, prepare yourself for something that is going to happen. After a while, I will visit you. This stranger was so dazzling that changing woman had to look away. When she returned back and looked where he was, he was gone, he disappeared. She returned home and reported this encounter to the first woman and first man. It seems that first man was expecting this occurrence, which happened twice again. On the third time, changing woman was told to fix her bed outside and to head her head to the east. When she fell asleep, a young man came by and laid beside her. This happened again, and she asked who he was. He replied, don't you know me? Didn't you ever see me? Don't you know that you see me all the time? It is I that take care of all things. Whatever there is on earth, I am the sun's inner form. In my presence, you came into being. In my presence, you came, uh, you were put into shape. Even I was among them. He then indicated that first man had directed him to do this. The next day, she decided to bathe because a young man might visit her again. While bathing, the young man appeared again, and the collaboration of the dripping water impregnated changing woman. In nine days, twins were born to changing woman. These twins were, become, uh, were to become monster slayers and born of water. These two also grew in four day periods and in 12 days they were grown uh, young men. Now at this point, changing woman asks for and receives the medicine bundle that the first man brought up from the previous worlds. She moves to a place that was built for her at the base of a mountain. Here she conducted the first wedding ceremony, the mating of corn. After the ceremony, changing woman leaves for a house that her sons have built for her at the direction of the father, the son. 
in the West at or on the Pacific Ocean. Here, changing woman grew lonely and created the Navajo people from skin rubbed off various parts of her body. The four pairs of people created at this time were the ancestors of all Navajo today. Changing woman also caused the abduction of the two children of rock crystal, talking God. They were taken to her house in the West by way of a rainbow and a sunbeam. Here they were taught the blessing way ceremony. They returned home to teach the ceremony to all of their people. The original Navajo saw the ceremony being taught to these children. They all gathered to learn the ceremony and to construct the original mountain medicine bundle containing soil with, uh, with which the ceremony is conducted. The holy people then said, after their departure from the ceremony, they would never be seen in, in person again, but that their presence would be manifest in the sound of the wind, the feathers of the eagle, or of the eagle, in various birds, the growth of corn, and other aspects of the world that are surrounding the earth's surface people. The two children who had been taught the Blessing Way ceremony then departed to live with the holy people. The percentage of changing women is described in several different ways. And the story has many different information. However, today is a day of changing women. And it's used to take a look at the powers that you possess and the changes that are around. Today, pay attention to your intuition because we all have it and it comes into play today. So take time to light a candle and to listen to the wind. Changing woman is known as Earth's child. So in this day, remember that you are a child of the Earth. It doesn't matter how old you are. We all have an inner child. We all have the power of creation. And we all have the power to put things to an end. This is the month where we want to change stagnation so that we can move forward. So just like the moon, is always full. We have all aspects of the goddess within us. Maiden Mother Crone, our inner child, our present walk, and where we're headed into the future. And every single day that we live, we are recreating something by our awareness, by our perception, by who we are. And every day that we wake up, we are putting things into the past. The day that we leave behind, we leave in the past. So I hope you enjoy this day and you are able to recognize how powerful you are and to recognize that this is your peak. Take a look at your life and then plan to go further. What is it? What is it that you want? Consider that today. Where do you want to be for the next Changing Woman Day? So I pulled a card for us today and I got, I'm in awe. So it says, I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. If you want to know something about your life, today is a day that you want to ask the universe a question. What is my purpose? Am I on the right path? Ask whatever question you want. And then be aware of the answer coming. But enjoy the full bloom and the energy 
that you're channeling today. Many blessings to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.